Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how this former trillion dollar growth company shocked investors with a bold move. We see here Meta Platform's market cap right now is $291 billion as of this recording. The company's market cap has fallen from over $1 trillion in mid-2021 and that's a nearly 70% decline from its peak. The market cap is now lower than even before the pandemic so the stock is trading at the cheapest valuation you've been able to buy it roughly um, going back all the way before 2020 and if we were to extend this if I was to show you the last five years it's even cheaper than at any point in time going back in the last five years so the stock is taking a beating meta platforms and it's understandable that the companies made this new bold move to um, you know alleviate some of this pressure from the fall in its market cap so let's look at what that bold move was and here we have its most recent quarterly transcript where management said that the company repurchased 6.5 billion dollar of their class a common stock in the third quarter and completed an inaugural debt offering of 10 billion dollars the first time the company has ever issued debt and this shocked investors that all of a sudden the company's issuing debt and a big figure too, $10 billion. The company now has $42 billion in cash and marketable securities after borrowing $10 billion, using some of that to, to repurchase its stock, $6.5 billion worth. And that's a big deal. So let's look at what interest rate the company is going to be paying on that long-term debt that it issued so here we have its most recent quarterly statement its most recent 10q it's for it it's for the figures ending as of september 30th i have highlighted in august 2022 we issued an aggregate 10 billion dollars of principal amount of fixed rate senior unsecured notes in four series so in four in four tranches in a private offering to qualified institutional buyers and certain non-us persons the proceeds from this offering net of discounts and debt issuance cost was 9.92 billion dollars so even though they issued 10 billion in debt they only got back 9.92 billion so 0 0.08 billion was paid in fees to issue this debt and the notes of each series ranked with each other's and not subject to any financial covenants so here we have here a breakdown of the four tranches you have one series of debt that's going to mature in 2027 so the company is going to have to pay back the principal amount in 2027 2032 2052 and 20 62 so these are long dated bonds here 2052 and 2062 30 year debt and 40 year debt right starting in 2022 this is a 30 year bond and a 40 year bond and the amount they issued in this one was 2.7 billion in 30 year bonds and 1.5 billion in 40 year bonds and the effective interest rate on these 30 and 40 year bonds was 4.5% and 4.7% respectively. So a uh, relatively low interest rate to borrow billions of dollars for 30 and 40 years for a tech company. This is a um, good news, I would say, for Meta Platforms stock investors that they were able to borrow at such low interest rates. And we look at the nearer term debt, the five-year and 10-year notes of 2.75 billion and 3 billion dollars worth they were able to borrow that at 3.6 percent and 3.9 percent respectively again uh, relatively low interest rates if you compare that to this morning the 10-year government treasury bond was yielding 3.8 percent so meta 10-year debt was a 10 basis point premium to the 10-year government bond so what investors are saying 
is that meta plat this meta platform's debt is equivalent to relatively equivalent to a government bond in terms of risk of default here which is incredible to think about it meta platforms is a growth stock that's facing incredible headwinds in the near term with the changes from apple's privacy policy that's making it harder for it to sell targeted advertising which has caused revenue growth to decrease and at the same time the company's making significant investments in the metaverse and it's uncertain how this will play out how profitable those investments will be what the return on that investment will be and meanwhile it was able to borrow 10 billion dollars in de long-term debt at very low interest rates so this is good news for meta platform stock investors without getting too wonky in terms of you know the cost of capital and capital structure i will say that cost of debt for companies if you look at their capital structure a company usually has cost of a company usually has debt uh equity debt and equity financing and debt financing is typically at a lower cost than equity financing and so if a company like meta platforms was financed completely through equity its cost of capital overall weighted average cost of capital is higher than if you mix in some debt financing and now that meta platforms has mixed in some debt financing to the tune of 10 billion dollars it should work to decrease its weighted average cost of capital and if you're valuing companies using the free cash flow valuation model or any kind of discounted cash flow valuation model the denominator in that model is a weighted average cost of capital rate and so this move will work to decrease the denominator which will work to increase the valuation okay i know i got a little bit wonky there and used some technical terms in terms of valuing a common stock or valuing a um free cash flow going forward but this is just to give you some insight into how analysts how wall street analysts value stocks for long term right they look at the free cash flows going out into infinity and they discount those cash flows back using a weighted average cost of capital and this move here by meta platforms will work to lower that denominator okay so in making this move meta platforms pleasantly shocked investors showing that okay they're willing to use some debt which they were previously unwilling to do previously it was all 100 percent nearly equity financed and now they're bringing some debt into the equation which is going to work to decrease their weighted average cost of capital which is good news for meta platforms stock investors all right so that's all i've got for this video if you've gained any value here please go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button it'll help me make more videos like this one thank you for watching and i'll see you next time i want to thank the motley fool for sponsoring this video the motley fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for all investors of all skill sets and risk levels so i'm proud to partner with the motley fool to bring you 10 stock picks from their popular product stock advisor stock advisor has beaten the market by more than three times go to fool.com slash parkev to get your 10 stock picks now